The old way is to make your clients pay you month after month on a retainer based model for your Facebook ads, content, or maybe you do SEO. And if you're lucky to sign clients, right, because you probably have an outdated, overexposed offer that you're currently running. <laughs> but if you are lucky to sign clients, they will probably leave you after a few months, right, which leaves you with low lifetime value and you'll end up plateauing and you'll be on a hamster wheel having to sign new clients month after month. And it's all because you aren't leveraging the new model in 2025. And we have to be looking at billion dollar companies like Apple, Google, we've got the CEO Sundar right here. And we have to be synthesizing the models that these companies are running into your own offer, right? So we're leveraging what they are doing into your own offer to make 10, 20, 30, $50,000 per month. And just for context, Apple makes $8,000 per customer every 20 years. Google makes $84.7 billion pretty much every quarter in 2024 in a single three month period. And you're out here struggling to make $10,000 per month. It's simply because you don't understand how these billion dollar companies operate. So what I'm going to be doing is helping you understand this and applying it to your own offer. So what does this tell us, right? It tells us that our service should be an ecosystem that clients use every day, an actual application and system that your clients use, right? But what does this mean? Well, you need to have a sticky mechanism in your offer to, rec to retain clients for three to five times as long. And I'm going to be breaking down this exact sticky mechanism and what I think will work the best that doesn't require you to be involved in the offer and the service and the fulfillment anymore, right? Which allows your offer to be scalable. So yeah, and that's the key without you actually being involved in the process, right? Because if you have to run Facebook ads or, you know, some type of content for your clients every single month, it's not going to work. You'll hit a roadblock. And I've been there before. I used to run a virtual assistant agency, which I scaled to $15,000 per month and I shut it down because it sucked. Now, this is the new leveraged way and I'm going to show you the exact sticky mechanism in literally five minutes. So keep watching. Um, but let's dive into four core offer fundamentals that I need you to understand before I get into the sticky mechanism that you need to have in your offer in 2025. So these four core offer fundamentals are number one, a quantifiable time frame. So you need to actually create a time frame in your offer that lasts for and has an end result. This could be 120 days, 180 days, or even just 50 days. But this allows you to stop being on that hamster wheel and providing fulfillment month after month for your clients, right? You need to get them a transformation in that time period. And this is known as the zero to hero transformation or goal. And this is what you are selling on the front end in your marketing. You are not selling the back end mechanisms. The back end mechanisms are the most important part, right? Like Apple, Steve Jobs was obsessed with the actual, you know, circuit boards of the iPhone. It's the most important thing, but it's not what you're selling, right? You're selling the front end mechanisms, which I'm going to get to in a second. Um, and yeah, I'm going to explain the sticky mechanism and what you actually need to do in your offer in 2025 in literally five minutes. So keep watching. Um, so the second thing that you, you actually need in your offer. So I, the reason I'm explaining these four core fundamentals first is because nothing will work if you don't understand these four things. So obviously, first one, you need a time frame to your offer. Secondly, you need to leverage the discrepancy guarantee pricing model. Now, this is where you get the end result. So you've got 120 days, 180 days, right? It's basically a program. And let's say, well, I mean, you, you, first of all, you would attach a price to it. So let's say your offer is we help clinics get 50 customers in 50 days. So you've got your time frame here, you've got the end result here. And let's say just for you know context sake, it's a 5k payment, right? That's what your client pays. What this means is that you make $100 per customer technically in your offer, right? Because obviously $5,000 is what you make and you're getting them 50 customers. You make $100 per customer. Now, here's the best part, right? The treatment, the, let's say you're selling for the clinic, hypothetically, right? This, is, this works for every niche. Let's say it's $300. This means that you make a third of their revenue and they bring home or they take home $200, which is the majority, right? Which is perfect. Now, here's the best part. Let's say you only get them 35 customers in 50 days. 
and you promised them 50 customers right here you would just give them back 1500 as you didn't deliver on what you promised right so you make three thousand five hundred dollars with a dollar sign just a quick tip if you're starting out you can always do this on a commission basis and just tell the client that you're going to make a hundred dollars per appointment you get them right very simple you might need to leave the value if you don't have case studies you need more risk reversal or loss aversion so now you've got to name your program right so so far you've got a time frame to your offer you understand the pricing model and you need to put a name on it right because this sounds way more attractive and this is what you'll write in the dms ads content and so forth right you could name this as an accelerator kickstarter partnership blueprint protocol just set it by a name you fancy um for example the four step ai growth funnel right humans buy the motion justify logic don't sell the details you would sell this in your actual marketing so let's dive into my favorite part which is actually the cohort and feedback method so this is yeah as i mentioned my favorite part so my question to you watching this is how many clients could you actually take on right now what is your answer it's probably not more than five right so what this means is that we can actually ethically leverage this in our marketing right you can say i'm only taking on five spots on a special results risk-free basis and it's true you can only take on five people so use it to your advantage use your limited time to your advantage please if there's one thing you take away you can use this ethically and you'd work with the five clients in a cohort method and you'd over deliver in the 50 days you'd go all in help them as much as you can communicate and then you'd collect testimonials client results interviews and then that kind of solves the trust crisis right all right trust crisis that we are currently in because you reach out to prospects now and they you know they, they don't even want to hear what you have to say because they've been offered too many services before so this allows you to solve that by running a cohort method and leveraging your time right ethically so yeah you would run it back obviously after you get the results and yeah it's an amazing tactic great feedback loop for getting you know feedback and results and understanding what you could have done better and then you could even charge more for your next five people and go like that so that is honestly the front end right i just needed you to understand these four key parts to your offer and you can watch this back if you want but now let's actually dive into the juicy part of this video which is way more valuable and it's going to be the back end mechanisms so this is how you would actually get the 50 customers in 50 days right this is the most important part and like i said with steve jobs he was obsessed with the back end the product he actually yeah was obsessed with like the circuit boards inside the iphone like things that you couldn't even see as a consumer he was obsessed with so yeah um for the back end mechanisms we're gonna basically condition this into four simple parts again so you've got onboarding right you've got traffic you've got conversion and then you've got the consulting part so how this works is for the onboarding you need to hit at least three activation points now if you aren't familiar with what activation points are they did a study on breaking bad most of you know the show breaking bad and they figured that viewers who got to episode five were 90 to 95 percent um, more likely to watch the entire series all five seasons i believe compared to if a viewer weren't to watch the first five episodes they wouldn't like they, they would literally never watch more than an ep like a series so think about that what are the activation points in your service that yield the most lifetime value and what's the correlation so for example um this is just an example right you can give them a roadmap because uber pizza hut they figured out very quickly that it wasn't actually the results that yeah made customers unhappy it was actually the uncertainty right when you order an uber back in the day there was no uber map you had no idea when the uber was actually going to arrive was it going to be on the right street was it going to be on at the right time so just them incorporating the Uber map, which doesn't change the time in which the Uber arrives. It just provides certainty to the customer. That's why you need to give the um, client, right? You need to give them a roadmap, a plan of what you're going to do and set expectations. Number two, you're going to set them up inside the CRM 
And this is sticky because like what I was explaining right at the start, with Steve Jobs, you got the, you know, iPhone, Google, right? These are things that people use every single day. Millions of people use them every day. So if you can actually set your client up on a CRM, you can maybe build their pipeline. So I'll put pipeline here, maybe build their funnel, right? And this is now a part of their business. They use this every day. You're leveraging the same model, right? It's amazing. And then you do a launch, right? So this is done, right? You basically get them to upload their old customers, old customers, old leads even. And you would send all of these people a email and SMS in the CRM. It could be goal level, it could be Salesforce, doesn't really matter. And this is with a limited time offer. So this is to get their old customers, old leads to buy, right, in a limited time offer. So a discount, 50%, add value, you get the point. And this should get your client close to a return on investment within the first 48 hours. So that's what this onboarding period is, right? Very key. So that is onboarding, part one. Let's dive into part two. You've got traffic. Now, this just depends on whichever platform their consumers are on. Like if you're working with like a fitness coach, for example, maybe like Instagram ads would be the best. If you're working with like roofing companies, maybe Google ads to get them more estimates would be better. I don't know, right? It really depends on your niche. So organic or paid, only pick one traffic source, please. Don't try and do everything for them. And just set this up within seven days and you'll be chilling, right? Obviously you need to learn empirically just by doing it, getting a client on board, maybe doing the $100 like per appointment or whatever. Obviously it depends on how much of their services, but you get the point, right? You can start on commission if you really want to. I think you'll get much better results if you get paid up front, but it's up to you. Now, conversion, right? This is the most important part. Like I was explaining at the start with a sticky mechanism, this is absolutely crucial. You need to place an automation into their business, right? Which is an infrastructure, which is something that they're gonna use every day. And to put this simply, Let's say you help, I don't know, coaches with content. Maybe you write their scripts and then get an editor or help work to edit it for them. You then need an actual mechanism to convert that traffic. And this is going to be something in their business, which means that they have to pay you month after month because you've set it up for them and they run off it. Their business runs off it. It's amazing. So yeah, only have one of these. Do not do all of them. Have one. So I personally think AI voice is going to be massive in 2025 just because it's going to become more realistic um you know humor tonality it's going to definitely be a lot better um but yeah you could you know have a ai caller you could set up into their business for you know sales calls onboarding assistance uh you know customer support rep you get the point right you would install an automation into their business it could be a dm automation that's another option um but it depends where you're getting their traffic through. So if, as I mentioned, if you're running like Instagram ads, that those Instagram ads could go to a DM and then your automation would convert it. And guess what? You don't have to be involved in the process because I used to run a virtual assistant agency where I had to pay VAs to manage the DMs and book appointments and convert leads into cash. You don't have to do that because now you have automation, right? Super key. And that is the third part and you're not selling any of these. These are just the back end mechanisms. And then here's the awesome part to it. You're gonna exit. So instead of you having to do this month after month, you're going to exit after your time frame, right? Whatever your program length is, and you're gonna exit into consulting and refinement. So instead of you having to be on a constant hamster wheel delivering to clients month after month, after the time frame, whatever you know, time you said at the start, you could offload them into a community, group coaching offer, maybe a one-to-one -one weekly coaching call. So instead of you having to fulfill every single week, every single day, month after month, you can hop on a call once a week with them for 30 minutes and just help them, right? Fix the automations if something goes wrong. Maybe you could help them with ads and you're actually gonna teach them how to fish instead of doing the fishing for them, which is way more valuable. So yeah, this will increase like LTV, you can even offer this as a downsell for reoccurring rev. So let's say you charge 5K for like this whole offer. So
So, you know, you do all of this for 5k. And then at this point, this could be, that's meant to be a dollar sign. This could be 297 a month, right? To keep the automation and to, yeah, be in a community or, you know, other similar people to them. Amazing. This is the perfect offer. So like this could be 50 days where you do the onboarding, do the traffic for them, conversion, and then you get reoccurring revenue on the back end. And this allows you to spend more on marketing and just, you know, economically it makes sense. So that's sweet. But then here's the best part. I saved it for last, right? You now want to take a part of this four step back end mechanisms and actually have it as a, a free a free bait. Right? If you look at Google, Google owns YouTube. You're watching this on YouTube for free. They apply this model. And I'm helping you understand this. They make their platform free to get the total addressable market onto their platform software. So then they can make money off data and revenue streams, advertising, so forth. So you need to provide a free bait in your outbound, in your direct response marketing, whether it's cold emails, cold calling, cold DMs, especially if you don't have clients, this is 100% the move I'd be making if I had to start again. You're going to lead with value because we're in a trust crisis. You'll notice this when you reach out to BossX, they probably get pissed at you because you're selling the same thing. So I want you to lead with value and I'm going to explain how this will make you a ton more money in a second. So you're going to say something like, I'll write seven proven ad scripts and creatives for you completely free of charge. Or, right, as another example, you could say something like, I'll build you an AI sales rep for free to show you how great it is. But you're leading with value, right? Free, free. And either one, this goes to a booked call, right? I'll put booked call right here. And you would basically say to them, once they respond positively to this message, which they will, you can try it this week, try it for the next seven days, I dare you. It will work a lot better. You'll get so many more positive engaged leads that you can get onto an appointment. And you would disguise it and you would say, can we get on an appointment so I can ask you a few questions to deliver the AI sales bot or whatever you are having as you take a part of your offer and offer that as the free bait for the cold DMs or whatever you're trying to do to get clients. And then what you'll find is that 20% of people will just pay you to actually just do the whole thing once you under, once they understand like, oh, there's four parts to it. They'll just pay you the money, right? And then if they don't, you can deliver it for free, like you said, and you'll get at least one out of three to pay you the money. So this is what I'd be doing 1000%, right? You have to be leading with value. Go in with this, just try it for a week. Let me know how it get how, how you do. Um, and hopefully you found this insightful. Um, drop a like, subscribe. I'm hosting a free masterclass on automations this Sunday. So there'll be a link first thing in the description probably. Sign up, register. I'll probably limit it to like 100 spots. I don't want too many people on it. But yeah, you can sign up for that. And I'll help you even more for free. So yeah, catch you in the next video. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss future ones. And yeah, take it easy. Have an amazing day.